So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I do a lot of web development with JavaScript. Today we're gonna to try something different. We're gonna do some scripting in the Unity game engine. Specifically, we're gonna be creating this rotating cube. So if you're into game development, uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, so I know that you're interested in more of this type of video. So you don't need a lot to get started with this tutorial. You need to install Unity. Uh, you need a, some type of C-sharp code editor, and it would help if you had a little bit of familiarity with some type of coding language. This tutorial is gonna be unique because we're gonna be creating our scene entirely from scripts. So go ahead and open Unity up, and to get started, we're gonna create just an empty game object. And to do that, we're gonna click this plus sign, and we're gonna say create empty. All right, and you're gonna see it comes up here, game object, and that's fine, we'll just leave it called game object. Uh, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna make our script that we're gonna to attach to our game object and where we're going to create and render everything. So to do that, we're gonna come down to assets, gonna right click, go up to create, and we're gonna click C sharp script. And I'm just gonna call this main and hit enter. Next, we wanna give our script to the game object that we've made. So let's take our empty script, main, we're gonna click and drag it, and we're gonna drop it onto the game object. And over here you're gonna see now the main script is attached to our empty game object. And now we need to open our script in a code editor. So go ahead and double click on your script. Um, for me, this will open my script in the writer code editor. You might be using Visual Studio, you can also open it in there. One more thing to notice before we start coding is that if we click play on Unity, you're gonna notice that we have this skybox effect in our background, and we don't really want that, so the first thing we're gonna write in our script is we're going to change that to be a black, solid black background that we're gonna put our cube over top of and rotate. So when you open your code editor, you notice we have two methods here. We have the start method and the update method. So what happens is when our game starts up, everything in the start uh, method will run first and then the update method will be called and it will just continue to loop over and over. First we want to check if Unity's main camera exists and if it does then we want to change the background from skybox to just the black background, right? So in order to do that we're going to say if Unity engine dot camera dot main double equals null then we're going to return. So if the main camera does not exist, we just return. Um, after that, we're going to assign the camera to a variable. So we'll say var main equals unity engine again dot camera dot main, just like that. So now we've assigned that to the main variable. Um, now the camera has a couple of properties on it. The first one is clear flags. Um, and we're gonna change that to go from skybox to solid color. So we can say main dot clear flags equals camera clear flags and it's going to be dot solid color so you can see I have options coming up here by default skybox um, we want to make it solid color so we're going to say main dot clear flags equals camera clear flags dot solid color um, and now we have to pick a background color since we've chosen solid color uh, there's a default color but we want black specifically right so main dot background color equals color dot and again you'll see it gives me some preset options here we do want the black color so color dot black and then we're going to this is just by trial and error I'm going to give it a field of view and we may change this later but for now we're going to say main dot field of view so this is our main camera's field of view and we're just going to set it equal to 80 that might be too large, we'll come back and change it if necessary. Now make sure you've saved and go ahead and head back over to Unity and run your code. And you're gonna see that the skybox is now no longer skybox and we just have this nice solid black background. Now let's head back to our code. So in our code above the start method, we're gonna create a variable and it's gonna be a private variable because we're never gonna access it from Unity. We're just doing it all in here. So it's gonna be private and it's gonna be a game object and we're just gonna call it cube, or in my case, underscore cube. If I just call it cube, uh, the editor will scream at me. If it's private, I gotta put the little underscore in front of it. Um, good habit anyways, right? Uh, so now <clears throat> we have our game object, and now we want to uh, inst instantiate our game object. So down here, we're gonna say cube. So this is the cube variable from up top, oh, underscore cube. 
equals game object dot create primitive and inside of there we're going to give it a primitive type of and you're gonna see all these different options plane quad sphere cylinder capsule but we're going for cube go ahead and hit enter on that and we're going to save so if you go back to unity and give it a try and hit play you're gonna see the cube looks pretty far away so I'd recommend changing the field of view down to about 25 we had it at 80 that was too much let's change it down to about 25 and if you head back over to unity and you click play um, make sure you save uh, you're going to see that we have our cube. It looks like a square right now, but that's because it's not rotating or on an angle or anything like that. But we have our cube and it's sitting on top of our nice background. Next, we're going to go to the update method and we're going to write the code that rotates our cube. So we can say cube.transform.rotate with a capital R. And in here, we need three values, an X value, a Y value, and a Z value. And depending on the number you put in there, depends how fast or slow that the cube rotates on that specific axis. The higher the number, the faster it rotates. The lower the number, the slower it rotates. And also, you're gonna to want to multiply it by something called time.delta time in order to slow it down. It's gonna be really fast if we don't do that. So I'm gonna say the x and y axis should rotate and the z axis will just leave it at zero for now. So I'm gonna say 65 times time.delta time for the x value. The y value, same thing, 65 times time dot delta time. And I'm gonna leave my z value at zero. Of course, you can put whatever you'd like in all of these values. All right, so save that, and let's head back to Unity. And if you now click play in Unity, we're gonna see that we have our cube, and our cube is rotating, right? Um, so the last thing we wanna do is change the color of our cube. In order to change the color of our cube, we need to get access to the cube's renderer. So underneath where we instantiated our cube, we're going to get the renderer of the cube. So var, and I'm just gonna call it cube renderer equals, and I'm gonna say cube dot get component, and we're gonna use, yep, and we're gonna say renderer, just like that and we need parentheses after that. So we now have the render, and now we can access the material of our cube. And the material uh, currently is just white, it's like a default. Uh, we wanna change it to a color of our choice, right? In my case, I'm going for like a magenta color. Um, so I'm gonna say cube render dot material, and now we can say dot set color. And what we're gonna do is inside of here, we're gonna say, underscore color and now we're gonna give it the color that we want to set it to in my case magenta so there we go I'm gonna click save on that and let's head back to unity and in unity you're gonna notice our cube is now magenta and it's rotating right so we've created a cube we've changed the background and we've done it all from a script um, in C sharp so if you like this video and you want to see more scripting videos with Unity or just more Unity videos in general, uh, go ahead and like, give a thumbs up, you know, subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.